let's talk about the spirit of anger. Is it a sin to be angry every so often? Of course not. When a person is speaking about the demonic spirit of anger, it would have to be extreme, more than what is normal. Usually when people have a demonic spirit of anger, it is because of things that happened in the past. Of course, these people may say that it is because of what someone is doing now. That is not true. What is building the motivation to get angry are the things that happened to them in the past. Basically, they have not forgiven the people who have done them wrong. They are still holding on to the things that happened to them in the past. When you hold on to things and not forgive people, it is going to tear you up more than your enemies. So it is going to hurt you more than your enemies. Usually when a person have a demonic spirit of anger, they will develop depression and other psychological issues. They will also be hypersensitive. It is normal to be sensitive to a certain extent. Hypersensitivity is a huge issue. This hurts these type of people more than their enemies. To cope with life in many cases, these people will abuse drugs, alcohol, and anything else that will get their mind off of their problem or their life. Doing these things are going to make life worse for these people. It is going to make their problems worse. In all honesty, abusing substances will kill them in some way or fashion. So what should these people do? The first thing that these people should do is forgive their enemies. Forgive the people who have done them wrong in the past. That is the most important thing. Okay. If you don't forgive these people, that is the most important thing. If you don't forgive, these people will always carry that weight. God did not make us to carry emotional weight. This is why he tells us to cast our cares upon him. When you don't do this, your quality of life is going to degrade. You will be much more you will be a much more miserable person. When I speak of quality of life, I am not speaking of materials and income level. There are people who are rich that stay in depression. Money does not solve your issues. Only God does. So the second step is repent of your sins and come to God. Surrender everything to God. Follow God's rules and regulations. When you don't do this, you are just hurting yourself. It is really quite foolish. How do you repent of your sins? All you have to say is, God, please forgive me of all my sins. If you can remember, apologize for each individual sin that you have committed. This is much better. Okay. Where am I? So whenever a particular sin comes to your mind, apologize to God for it. That is much better. Step three, just maintain your salvation, help people that are in need, cast away selfishness and greed. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.